It's no secret, you're paying more at the grocery store for everyday items. But exactly how much is a big point of discussion on social media? Take this video on Twitter from CNN with more than 5 million views, where a family of nine claims the price of milk is up 40%. So, let's verify. Did the nationwide average price of a gallon of milk go up 40% this year? Our sources are the Center for Dairy Excellence and the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Earlier this year, the family says they were paying $1.99 for a gallon of milk, and the current price is $2.79. But the Bureau of Labor Statistics says the cheaper price was far below average. That just doesn't accord either with our data or certainly with my personal experience. I, I think I'd have to go back a long time to think of a gallon of milk below $2. The BLS tracks the national average of several grocery staples and says in September 2020, milk was $3.45 a gallon. A year later, the price was $3.59, an increase of 4%. That segment sort of made it sound like inflation was driving that, that uh, uh, solely responsible for driving the cost of that increase, and that's, that's simply not true. The Center for Dairy Excellence says everything from freight to processing to packaging and even a retailer markup all contribute to the increase. Meanwhile, the CDE says the price farmers actually get for their milk has remained steady over the last year at $1.56 a gallon. So it's false that the nationwide average price of a gallon of milk is up 40% this year. The CDE recommends shoppers watch for deals because some retailers are starting to take a lower cut from milk sales just to keep shoppers coming through the doors. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. And be sure to let us know if you've got something you'd like us to verify. All you have to do is email verify at WTHR.com. You can also reach out on Facebook and Twitter.